Next up, the first week in July is National Childhood Obesity Week, and we are talking about kids ages 11 and above. Did you ever think that in your wildest dreams that we would be having a conversation about obesity in 2024? Uh, not of kids, anyway. Um, I always had a fear that it was coming uh, because you could see the writing on the wall already for two or three decades. Uh, but now, now that it's here, diet is the number one thing, of course. Yeah. Um, and now that it's here, now that we have a full-blown epidemic, uh, it's not only disturbing, uh, it's, it's saddening yeah. what we're doing to our kids. And the solution to this problem, now that Pandora has been let out of the box, is not going to be an easy one. Yeah. And so what supplements would help benefit kids that are 11 and up that are morbidly obese or obese? like blood sugar support from Phoenix Nutritionals or the high vitality liquid for Phoenix Nutritionals. Are those safe? And would you think that uh, um, if a parent wanted to help their kid 11 or above, they should talk to their doctor about taking those kind of supplements? Yes. And then keep your fingers crossed. You have a doctor who even knows what those are. Uh, but let's, let's, let's suppose that they do. Uh, one of the biggest problems, uh, of course, is, as we just mentioned, is diet in these kids. Uh, they're constantly ingesting enormous amounts of sugar or sugar-forming foods. Yeah. Refined carbohydrates, uh, sweets, snacks, uh, soft drinks. And then they go stare at their phone all day and don't move. Right. That's the second problem with this, is inactivity. But... We can't do much about inactivity chemically, but by giving them a good full spectrum supplement like high vitality liquid, which is easy to give them because you can measure it according to their body weight. And that way you can be assured to give them the right dosage. Uh, as a standard rule of thumbs, we use uh, one teaspoon of the high vitality liquid for every 20 pounds of their body weight. Oh, okay. So it's pretty easy. And then the blood sugar support is the same formula that we use in adults. And I would use obviously uh, one capsule per day rather than the recommended amount for adults. Although it's, it's going to be kind of difficult to OD these kids because they're not skinny. <laughs> Otherwise yeah. you wouldn't have this problem. Uh, they got plenty of heft to them as far as body weight. So it's not a super critical condition. But what the blood sugar support formula does for adults can also be helpful for kids in that it, it reduces the cravings, the yeah. obsessive cravings for starch, sugar, etc. And do not kid yourself, folks. Carbohydrate, refined carbohydrate and sugar is a bona fide addiction. Don't let anybody ever tell you otherwise. And it's a, an addiction in children, as well as teens, as well as adults. Yep. And it is, I have, I have worked with mostly adults and teens over the years because uh, 10, 20 years ago, we didn't have that many fat kids. Yep. Uh, but now, it, of course, that situation is changing. But uh, I have had so many of these people tell me, you don't understand, this is an addiction. Yeah, this this was harder for me to quit than booze. This yeah. this this was like my cousin who was addicted to cocaine. <laughs> I mean, this stuff is it, it's an obsession. I wake up in the middle of the night and all I can do is think about sugar, sweets, candy, yeah. cake, donuts, um, and and I've learned that these people can't all be wrong. I mean, this is a terrible situation. And it's no different in our kids, of course. Yeah. Well, if you know somebody that needs help, that's a, a good place to start for them. 